Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Guess what I'm doing? Huh? Huh? Pretty cool. Okay, so here's what's happening. Got some stuff figured out. I am not using the crappy ZY Play app or XY Play, whatever the hell it's called, the crappy app, because it still just disconnects after like 30 to 45 seconds. A big shout out to John Friedman. Thank you ever so much because what you told me about the whole using the transmitter AI and I guess they call it smart tracking option, uh, where you basically stand in front of the camera and you push the trigger once, it starts tracking you, which is what I'm doing now. Didn't even know that existed. Now, why didn't I know that? Because I'm a dumb monkey and I didn't read the freaking manual. To my credit, the manual sucks. It, it's, it's like this big and I couldn't read it because of old eyes and I just didn't. I, I, I just didn't read it. Let's just call a spade a spade. I didn't read the damn manual, so I never read about that function. And I just thought that I had to use the ZY Play app and draw, you know, the, the box around my melon so that I could track myself. And it turns out that you don't have to do that because, again, you can use the smart tracking feature. You have to have the Weeble 2. You have to have the correct transmitter AI that goes with the Weeble 2. You have to have it all hooked up correctly because I did do that wrong at one point too. I connected the cable to the wrong plug on the Weeble itself. And once you get all that done, you go into to basically live view, transmitting view or whatever by swiping all the way down on the screen and then it brings up whatever your camera sees. And then there's like a little box with a little cross in the middle. What I've done is I stand there in selfie mode so that I'm in the middle of the box, my melon anyways, and then you reach up the front and you push the trigger once. Once you do that, it, a little bit of a delay, like a half a second to a second, and then boom, a green box is drawn around you. Now, it isn't as, as tight as drawing the box around your melon, but it's still there and it works perfectly because I can walk full 360 and you can set the speed, it defaults at zero. I put it to three, because I guess what happens is that if you don't have it set correctly for the kind of movement that you're doing, it will lose you, because you'll step out of frame for long enough that it'll lose you. But right now, so now here I am, I'm back behind the Weeble again, so I can actually see the screen, and the box is still around me, and you can see the background, and I can, I can bend down, now you're gonna see the, uh, the handle on the screen. And I can move all around. And I'm, I'm a good five, six feet away from the camera right now using the Sony a7C as always and the 20 millimeter f1.8. And I'm not moving really fast because I want this to catch up to me. I might turn it all the way up and see what happens. In fact, let's do that now. You know, it's actually doing a pretty good job keeping up with me. So now you just tap the screen and it, uh, there's like a little, almost like a speedometer and it has one, two, three, four, five at the bottom, uh, go back to zero. All right, so now I'm at five, speed five. So I honestly don't, that actually seems like it's slower to me. Hmm, I wonder if I, if I have to put it, at, it's going the opposite way and five is actually slower. So let's go to zero. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's opposite. If you put it up all the way up to five, it moves slower. But if you put it down to zero, which is where it defaults, then it follows you a lot quicker. So this is very cool. This is why I bought this damn Weeble 2 and spent the extra money once I found out you had to have the transmitter AI to be able to look at the screen. I don't give a rat's ass about that horrible app. I'll likely never use it again because it's so horrible because I don't need to because now I can track. The only reason that I would want to use that app to do the tracking is so that I could be like all the way out here and not anywhere near the camera and I don't have to put it in the selfie mode to have me in the box. Otherwise you have to have another person push the trigger for you. I have it on the newer aluminum tripod I ordered the kit, so it's like a, a two sets of the quick release. So you put the one thing down on the quarter 20 
on you know either the actual tripod that came with the gimbal or a tripod or whatever has a quarter 20 and then the other part goes into the bottom of the weeble and then you can just like it just has a quick release you like pull it down and pull it out and there you go because i'm not screwing and unscrewing this thing like a thousand times i don't want to do that i don't need to do that because the quick releases are pretty easy so i got two sets and that was like 40 bucks done deal so at this point now this is doing exactly what i got this weeble for so that i can do tracking shots like this and it's not just me sitting there blathering into the camera sitting in my office because i can set this up in my office too and still move around and and have you know some movement in the shots instead of it just being like straight on and i'm digging it i'm very excited i'm so thrilled this worked thank you john friedman again for telling me about that whole smart tracking thing that I didn't know about because I'm a dumbass and I didn't read the manual. I did download the PDF manual so I can blow it up so my old ass eyes can read it. And I'm going to read that thing from cover to cover to make sure that I learn everything I can about this Weeble 2 now. Now the only thing I have to do is make sure I'm carrying around extra power with me because this thing sucks the batteries down. So I have everything hooked up and basically it's powering not only the, the Weeble 2 itself, but the little transmitter AI and it's all connected in there and it might even be powering the camera for all I know. I am thrilled. I'm gonna say it one more time. Thank you, John Friedman, for letting me know about this feature and I'm a happy monkey now. Okay, so I just had a like nice 10 minute conversation with this woman who was watching me film and she said, you know, I've never seen a, a setup like that where the camera actually follows you wherever you're going. She said, that's fascinating. And I was like, I know, that's why I got it. So we chatted for a little while. And that's why I do stuff like this. This is why I'm out in public. Uh, I, I absolutely love when people approach me and we can have a conversation about the technology and, and, and whatever else. This was a fantastic success. I'm thrilled to death that this works now. And you should be too, because now you don't have to just sit there and watch me in my office blathering on, not moving. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.